This is the Mersk Batam. It's as long as two football fields and weighs 30,000 tons. Its 106 foot width makes it a Panamax, the largest type of ship that can currently fit through the Panama Canal. The waterway is undergoing a major $5 billion remodeling job that will widen the narrowest stretches so that ships nearly double the size of this one will be able to fit through, a move that could quadruple the Panama government's revenue stream from toll fees. But the historic expansion project was suddenly thrown into turmoil in late December when a consortium of European companies doing the construction demanded an additional $1.6 billion from the Panamanians due to extra unforeseen costs. So far the Panama government is saying, hey, a deal's a deal. We're willing to pay some more money. They're saying that's just too much. I was invited aboard the Maersk Batam on January 15th for a 10-hour trip through the Panama Canal. Once final loading at Balboa Port was complete, a crew of mostly Filipinos and Indians pulled up anchor as well as ropes that were tied to the port. The Batam departed just after midnight. By sunrise, we were sailing through the spacious middle section of the canal. While the canal was built by U.S. engineers and controlled by the Americans during the 20th century, in the year 2000, the U.S. officially handed the canal over to the Panamanians. Nearing the end of the canal on the Atlantic side, a team of Panama Canal workers boarded the ship to help the captain stabilize and guide the ship through the final set of locks at Gatun. After the ship crosses the final locks, the Maersk Batam picks up steam headed for the Atlantic Ocean and eventual arrival in Spain, Ukraine, and beyond. For the Wall Street Journal, this is Dan Malinsky on the Panama Canal.